Given this figure, let's solve for x and y. So let's start off with this triangle right here. Notice that we have 30 degree angles. So this is an isosceles triangle, which means these two sides are congruent. And so they're going to be 3. Now let's focus on this right triangle. We know it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And in general, so this is, let's draw this out. We know the hypotenuse is 3, the height is y, and we know it's going to be of the form x, x root 3, and then 2x. So the sh shortest side is x, the, the hypotenuse is 2x, so it, the hypotenuse is twice the shortest side, so half of 3 is going to give us 3 halves. And then the other side is the shortest side times root 3. So that solves for y. Now we can solve for x, but actually before we do that, let's write the 3 halves over here. Okay, so now let's solve for x by using Pythagorean theorem. Now I'm going to be looking at the whole triangle. So this side is x. This is 3 plus 3 halves. Well, 3 is 6 halves. 6 halves plus 3 halves is 9 halves. This is 90 degrees. And this is 3 root 3 over 2. Now, I don't really care about the angles. So let's do Pythagorean theorem. We have 9 halves squared plus 3 times root 3 over 2 squared equals x squared. 9 halves squared is 81 over 4. Now, 3 root 3 over 2, you have to square everything. So 2 squared on the bottom is 4. 3 squared is 9. Square root of 3 squared is 3. 9 times 3 is going to give me 27. Now, if I add this, this becomes 108 over 4 is equal x squared. And then 108 over 4 is 27. So we have 27 is equal to x squared, which means that x is the square root of 27 which I can write this as 9 times 3. And I factor out the square root of 9 becomes 3. And this is root 3. So this 9 comes out as 3. And then you're just left with a root 3 inside. So the final answer is x is 3 root 3. And y is 3 root 3 over 2.